Now today we're gonna to go over our line of reverse osmosis systems, or you may hear me say RO systems for short. Reverse osmosis uses pressure to reverse a natural physical process called osmosis. The water is pushed through a semi-permeable membrane to filter out the minerals and impurities, or PPMs. Treated water comes out the blue line, and the minerals and the impurities are sent to the drain through the black line. RRO systems work on water pressures anywhere from 40 to 80 PSI, and you can use water temperatures anywhere between 40 and 100. However, you'll see an optimum flow rate with warmer water and higher incoming pressure. If your pressure is low and your water is cold, your flow rate will go down. We do offer pressure regulators for all of our RO systems if your incoming water pressure is too high, and we offer pressure booster pumps for our systems for those on water sources with low pressure, which is usually well water users. All of our RO systems come with a garden hose connector as the feed valve. There are other types of feed valves available for purchase if the garden hose connector doesn't work for your setup. If you have high levels of certain contaminants in your source water, you may want to consider a water softener or other forms of prefiltration to get better life out of your membranes. So all of our RO systems are going to give you high quality RO water. They all dechlorinate and they all remove 97 to 98% of the PPMs in the water. The difference in these systems is the flow rate or the gallons per hour they're capable of producing. Our most basic RO system is the Micro 75. Now this system is capable of producing 75 gallons per day, which ends up being a little over three gallons per hour. It's got a nice compact design. It's great for city water users. If you'll notice, there's only two stages here, the carbon and the RO membrane. So if you're on a water source that's really high in sediment, you may want to consider an upgrade to one of our stealth models. And then we have our stealth models. We have the stealth 150. The stealth 150 is capable of producing 150 gallons in a 24 hour period which breaks down to about six gallons an hour. And then we have the Stealth 300, which is the same as the Stealth 150, it just has an extra membrane on top of it. So it can do double the flow rate. It can produce 300 gallons per day in a 24 hour period, which breaks down to about 12 gallons an hour. And the highest flowing system we have is the Evolution 1000. This system can do 1,000 gallons in a 24 hour period, which breaks down to about 40 plus gallons per hour. Now I want to reiterate that the flow rate is based on your incoming water pressure and water temperature. So if your incoming PSI is around 65 to 70 and your incoming water temperature is in the 70s, you should see the flow rates as advertised. However, if your incoming water pressure is low, like a lot of those on well water, and or if your incoming water temperature is low, like a lot of people in the wintertime, your flow rate will go down. There are booster pumps available for all of these systems, which can help with the pressure. So I hope this video was helpful. For more information on reverse osmosis, visit us at www.hydrologicsystems.com.